this video I'm going to show you how to use the curve slider. This is the page that we were working on. This is a portfolio. So to use curve slider, let's go to WordPress dashboard and go to curve slider and click on it. These are our demo sliders because we have imported the demo data. But for now I'm going to add a new slider by clicking here. All right, this is the slider name to add new slider and I'm just going to change the name of it to test. These are the size, these are the navigation buttons. I'm not going to change the width, but I'm going to change the height to 1080. And this is the slider size mode. I'm going to set it as full screen. And this is scene settings, easing, motion, and background background video and our elements and yeah I'm going to save it because we have changed the slider size mode from regular to full screen it's refreshed and now I'm going to add an image element and it's here I'm going to click on upload select uh, this image choose and add it to the scene. I can move it just like I want it. I also can use a new feature comes with, comes with Curve Slider 2 to center it vertically and horizontally. Then I can click on Save. And in animation details, going back to the image. And okay. Let's add an adverb mage and select this skater guy, choose it. Well, if you don't click on add to scene button, you won't see the image on the scene. So when you select an image, you need to click on add to scene button. So I'm going to check this. Because when I check this, I won't be messing with the background. I just add it. So I will be only moving the element that I checked. So I'm changing its coordinates. And I'm going to curve it. As you can see, this is the only slider that you can curve your animation. That's why it's called curve slider. And I'm going to save it. Play everything is just a little fast. So I'm going to animation details, increase in the motion time, maybe something like two seconds. I'm going to change the ease method and let's see what we got here. Rotate, let's save it first and play. Yes, it is now not that fast. I'm going to select rotate left to right and save it again. Play element. Yes, as you can see now, it's also rotating, not just curving, but also rotating. I'm moving the points just a little bit more to make it smoother. And can tweak it more just by spending a few minutes on it. I'm going to add a box text. You need to select a font. Unless you select a font, you won't be able to save it. So I'm going to. You can also type the font name and find it faster. Let's type curve slider here. And increase the font size, maybe something like 60, and change the color to the white. Let's go to the box settings. And I'm going to change the box background color. Set it something like this, and save it. Of course, make the border radius to zero and includes vertical padding and horizontal padding and save it 
and now it's here. Let's move it a little bit. And like this. Let's go to animation settings, animation details, and increase the motion time. Maybe this will do it. And he is out. I want to hide it at the beginning. So save it. And play it. Yes. Something like this. And now close it. And we can also drag and drop these elements to change their layer order. I just did and saved it. And let's play it. Our skater guy is skating. Our text is coming. Let's add a new scene. I'm just going to make this one a little bit basic. So just the box text element, add element. And of course, select the font. Type in the font to find it faster. Selecting it. Oops. And typing Zoom WordPress theme. Increasing the font size. Oh, no, I'm just going to change the color to white. And now increasing the font size. Going to box settings to change the box size padding and vertical padding. And of course, the border radius setting it to zero. And background color using our color again and saving it. It is there now, and yeah, it's there. Let's change its coordinates and center it vertically and horizontally. Yeah, save it. And let's go to animation details. Maybe increasing the motion time and giving it easing, ease out. Setting the starting alpha to zero, hiding it at the beginning and saving it again. Let's see how it moves. Yeah, it's just fading in. You can also Let's save it first. You can also drag and drop the scene. Oops, drag and drop the scenes and change the scene order. Very easy. Okay, and now let's go to our page here, and I'm going to edit this page to add this new slider. I just made and let's go down at element I'm going to use special grids click to add it let's let's add it before header this is a unique feature as you know you can add the slider above the header so since I just use full screen slider I'm going to select the full screen across the four sliders I don't want a background color. I'm just going to click on save. Even these special grid blocks are underneath the others. This will be displayed first because it's set to be displayed above header. So I'm just going to click on add element, make it 12. So that curve slider, curve slider has been integrated with Rap Page Builder entirely so you don't have to play with short calls. you can just add it right away let's click on it and select our task slider I want to enable the navigation I want autoplay 
and I also want the side navigations that navigates the slider with arrows so I don't want anything under the slider let's click on save and save save that fast and rest refresh it of course these are the default paddings let's remove the paddings too added it go down and disabling the padding save it oops save it refresh it and there it is it is now full screen and our content comes after it I can also send the slider under the portfolio so let's click on it and select the first sidebars because we have used the before sidebars in other special grids on this page when I select this then it will be using the same order that you see here so I'm just going to click on save refresh it As you can see now there is no slider above the header but when I go down I'm seeing my slider which is also full screen I have activated the navigation I also have side navigation with arrows I can change the slider and that's it.